Good afternoon. I'm Deputy Chief Roy Hastings of the Mount Vernon Police Department going over our weekly crime statistics for the week ending November 19th. Today is the 23rd. It's Black Friday. Hope everybody's out getting their discounts at the store and I really hope that everybody had a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving with their families. During the week that ended on the 19th, we had a few uh, bumps and dips in our crime statistics. However, our most telling statistic is the 28-day uh, statistic measuring the last month and during the last month we are down over 25 percent on our top seven major violent offenses which keeps us at a pace of being down almost three percent for the year so again we're still working hard to keep the numbers down this week our increase in call volume which has been averaging 300 to 350 calls per week is also down it's down to 160 so we did have 160 more calls for surface, but we were able to keep crime at a, at a lower level. Uh, coming down to the end of the year, some of those calls for services may start to reduce as we get into the holiday season and the weather gets cooler and things slow down a little bit uh, in the activity on the streets. And you're going to be out there shopping this weekend. You're going to be out shopping for the rest of the holiday season. Please, 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 when you come out of the stores and you're carrying your packages to your cars, Secure them in the trunk, place them under the seats, place them if you have an SUV in the back with some kind of cover or blanket over it. If you leave presents and packages in your car and you go into another store or another shopping center, a thief can come by, see your packages, and your presents will become their presents. Even criminals have families that they want to give presents to for Christmas, only they don't want to pay for them. Hi, my name is Detective Cynthia Thompson, and I've been employed with the Mount Vernon Police Department for approximately 19 years. I currently am working in the Criminal Investigations Unit. We go out on the crime scenes, we collect evidence. Uh, the next big thing that we do in here that takes up a lot of time here is our sex offenders. We deal with the level threes, which are um, come in every 90 days. We have level twos that come in maybe yearly, and level ones as well. Um, we also do DNA in here for people that have been arrested and have gotten misdemeanors or felonies. We do letters of good conduct. We seal records here. In other words, if someone gets an arrest and the judge wants us to seal that record, it's off out of the um, completely out of our computer once it gets sealed through our office. We also, sorry, we enter warrants here. We enter what we call VCO warrants, which is violation of city ordinances. It could be public drinking, it can be a vehicle in traffic, such as uh, an unlicensed operator of a vehicle. So we enter those here. We also manage the arrest of warrants. When people come in, they turn themselves in, and our warrant squad's not available. They come to us, to the CIU unit, and we process them on their arrest. We enter the warrants, enter brand new warrants that come in from the judge. We do um, ID cards here. We do all of our ID cards for the entire city here on this lovely machine. We take their photos, they get an ID card, and I can show you what it looks like. It kind of looks like this. It's just an ID card that allows people in and out of the building. We recently got a new computer system where the youths are printed here because the youths cannot be in the same population as the adult arrests. So 16 and under youth would come in here and we would print them um, and things of that nature. And eventually in the future we'll be also printing civilians for background checks, new recruits, new police officers, and things of that nature. Um, that's basically what we do. Um, this is a one it's a two-man unit, but we do, or we wear many hats here. One more thing this week, on a sad note, on yesterday, Thanksgiving, at about 10.30 in the morning, we lost a member of the MVPD family, Frank Corvo, who was a building maintenance man, worked for Public Works Department, but spent all of his time over almost the past 30 years here in the building. He was truly a member of our family and he's going to be missed greatly by the men and women of the Malvern Police Department.